it's Nina with Wildlife Stamping. Thanks for joining me today. This is the project that we're going to be doing. It is a gift card holder. Um, I wanted to make something more masculine because I know that there are a lot of people who have birthdays and different types of events this time of the year. And I know that Boss's Day comes around at some point. I think it's on into May or whatever. But anyways, I was just thinking that this would be a good idea to give a friend or a boss or a dad or somebody that you want to give a gift card to. So the way that I made this is this is just a really large belly band that I decided to make decorative. And then when you open it up, I have it fixed like this. So there's a little pocket within a pocket here. And this is my pretend gift card that has the pocket there and I lined it with some gold foil on the back and I'm also going to add another piece of cardstock here so that you could write a personal note on there so that's a couple of changes I'm going to make to the one that I'm going to be demonstrating and then all you have to do to seal it up is just slide that belly band right back on there just like that now this one I did in black gray and silver but I have a different color combination to uh, demonstrate today so let me show you what we're going to need to create this card starting out with a piece of delightful Dijon and this is cut to nine and a fourth by five and a half and then I have Another piece that is cut to four and a half by three, and this is going to become our tag here. And um, I've got a piece of basic black, and this is cut to four and a fourth by three. It is going to be the pocket that your gift card goes inside of. I have a couple of sheets of gold foil, five by three and a half and four and a fourth by three, and these will be made partly for the tag, and then the other portion will go inside the gift card holder. Then I have a piece of Whisper White. This is four and three eighths by three and one fourth and that's going to go inside the card as well and this is the pattern of the urban underground that I decided to use for the belly band this is cut to 10 and 1 4th by 3 and 1 4th and then to decorate the pocket for the gift card this is another piece of the urban underground and this is cut to 4 by 1 so when we get to putting the card together, I'm going to look at it and decide if I'm going to add that extra piece of designer series paper. I have a kit here ready to go. If you'll go over to my website and leave a comment on this post, your name will be entered in a drawing to win this kit. And that will be sent out sometime in the next two to three weeks. So let's go ahead and get started creating this card. We're going to need to do some scoring. We're going to start out with our card holder and we're going to put it in with the nine and a quarter inch side across the top and your score marks are going to be at three and one half, three and three fourths, seven and one fourth, seven and one half. Then we're going to spin it around to the five and a half inch side and we're going to score it at five and five and one fourth. Then we're going to turn it around and do the same thing on the opposite side. Five, five and one fourth. We also need to score the cardstock that's going to make up the pocket for the inside of the card. We're going to turn the three inch side up toward the top and we're going to score this piece of paper at one and one fourth inch. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Project Life corner punch and I'm going to round each of the corners on this piece. So let's go ahead and get this cut. Now there is quite a bit that is going to be taken away. Let me show you what those pieces are. It is all of this right down through here. Let me just, these two long pieces all the way down to that last score mark. And we're getting rid of all of that on both sides. 
I do not trust myself to cut this straight because it is such a long piece to have to cut. So I'm going to put it in my stamping trimmer and use it to cut the line instead. So what I'm going to do is this inside score line, I'm going to line that up within the track, the cutting track on my stamping trimmer. And I'm going to score or run my trimming blade all the way down to that very last horizontal score line. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little pointer right here. And when that pointer reaches that score line, I know that's where I need to stop. So then I'm going to flip that over, line it up again, and do the same thing. That way I know that my trimming is straight. And then I'll just take my little snips and cut that off right there and right there. And I am cutting that at just a very, very slight angle. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish all of our score lines at this point. Okay, so that part is done, and when you're finished, this is what you're going to be left with. When you fold it up, this will end up being the bottom. This will end up being the front, okay? So next what you're going to want to do is assemble your box. And I have somewhere a piece of scrap paper, and I'm going to be using Fast Fuse. And there's two score marks here, if you can see there. There's a fourth of an inch there and there. This little portion here is the only area where you want to add your adhesive. And so I'm just going to run a couple of strips there, turn it around and do it on this other side. And you could use tearing tape for this too if you'd like. Okay, so at this point you're going to want to fold these under and I like to do them one at a time and line up that folded edge with your cut edge. Okay, got that one done. And then I always take my time with this so I can make sure that I get it nice and straight. Then I'll just take my bone folder and put that on the inside and make sure that that um, adhesive gets stuck down. Let me move this out of the way. It's got adhesive on it now. Let's go ahead and insert our gold foil sheet. For this, it's fine to just use some snail. Slide that down in there, and I just get it centered up and bring it down below that score line about the same distance as the border on either side. Now we can get our pocket ready. We scored that at one and one quarter inch. So I've got that folded over and burnished. Now let's go ahead and take our designer series paper and we'll round the corners on this as well. Run a little bit of snail on the back of this and then attach it to the front portion of your pocket. Okay. Let me grab that scrap piece of paper again. So what you're going to want to do at this point is grab your fast fuse again and we're going to run fast fuse up this edge right here and do it right on the very edge to the point where it's actually running off onto the paper that you're using for protecting your work surface. Then fold that over and adhere it down. Then we're going to attach it to the inside of the card with dimensionals. I'm going to put three along the top. And I am running out. Then I'm going to go ahead and put three along the bottom as well. So we'll slide that down inside. 
and stick that down. So then your gift card would slide right down in there just like that. So let's put our piece of Whisper White in here and what I think I cut that too wide. Let me trim that down. The measurement, let me just make sure I've got it right, should be four and three eighths. Let's see. Four and, yep, yeah, I just cut this a little bit too wide. I just had a little too much there. There, that's right. So we can just use snail for this. You can leave this part off if you choose to. Good golly, I've got ink or I've got glue everywhere. I'm just going to throw that piece of paper away. So we're just going to put this little piece of Whisper White here, and that'll leave you room to write a note to the person that you're giving it to if you'd like. Then fold that over, and there's no need to decorate the outside of this because your belly band is going to be your decoration. But we're going to score at four and one half inches four and three-fourth inches, nine and three-eighths, and then nine and five-eighths. Fold and burnish all of those. And if you guys haven't had an opportunity to check out this um, Urban Underground Designer Series paper, actually it's a specialty designer series paper, and because it has this um, really super thick cardstock that has the gold foil look to it. That makes it a specialty designer series paper. But of course everything is double sided so you have lots of choices with this paper. So if you have a male friend, family member, boss, somebody that you want to give a special gift to, this paper is really really nice. Very masculine. Okay, so there's that. Now, let me hold these up here. Actually, I'll want to do this with my gold paper. I like that one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the very vanilla on this one. I am using the lots of labels to cut out the little medallion that's on top of this gift card holder. And the two that I'm using is the second and third from the largest. To cut out your foil sheet, you're going to want to use the second from the largest. And because my cutting plate is so chewed up from using it so much, I'm going to take a scrap piece of cardstock and lay that on top of there to help prevent all of those markings from transferring over to my foil sheet. That protected it and there's no scarring on there. I'm going to be using Versamark ink today and the stamp set that I'm using is the Birthday Blast and this is in the Occasions catalog and I'm just going to be using the Happy Birthday. I love the Celebrate You as well, um, but I'm designing this gift card today especially for a birthday gift. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. I've got that mounted on an eye block. So let me grab my Whisper White. Where did I put it? So here's my Whisper White paper and I'm just going to take my embossing buddy and pat that on there. This is anti-static. It's going to keep your embossing powder from sticking somewhere you don't want it to be. Ink up my happy birthday. I'm going to use gold embossing powder. Tap off the X 
excess. That image came out really good. I'm just going to use my heat tool and heat set this image. Didn't that come out really pretty? I love it. Now you'll want to grab your second from the largest and put that over the top of your sentiment. Get it centered up there and put your other plate on top and then run it through. So I'm going to use some snail and put that on the back of my gold foil sheet. Put that in the center of my belly band. Then I'm going to use dimensionals again. And what I like to do is place one, and I am just about out for sure. I'm just going to snip these on the edge. I place one on each of these little outer corners here, and then I put one here and here, and then also in the middle. I just center that up within that gold foil sheet and I have my metallic enamel shapes there are gold and silver in the package of course since this one is gold I'm going to use gold on here I grab my tweezers y'all know that I always use tweezers with these little things because I can't hang on to them for whatever reason I guess I'm a fumble fingers or a butter fingers <laughs> one on either side. So here is today's project. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, also, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that Stamping Up is coming out with three new products during the Occasion Catalog um, time period and I've got a sneak peek. I've ordered mine today. You're going to absolutely go gaga over them. My order should be in by probably Saturday or Monday and as soon as I get them in I'm going to create a project and demonstrate them for you. And I wanted to encourage you to visit my website and on there I will have the instruction sheet and it's a printable PDF with all of the supplies and measurements and everything listed that you'll need to create this project. Don't forget when you go over to my blog to make a, a comment underneath the post for this project and you'll be entered in the um, drawing to win this kit. And, um, and if you like this project and you're interested in purchasing any of the products that you need to create this yourself at home, there is a supply list underneath the video in the description box and also the supply list will be on the printable PDF on my website. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon.